Hi, I'm Glenn. And I'm Brett. And, and we're, we're the Penumbra, Penumbra Brothers. Brothers. We focus on, on you. Hi, I'm Glenn from the Penumbra Brothers. Today we're going to do a short video on the SI joints. So Robin graciously has been our patient again today. So the AP axial sacroiliac joints. So you're going to do 35 degree cephalic angulation for women, 30 degrees for men. She's a woman. So we're going to do 35 degrees angulation. And I have already adjusted the height to make sure we're 40 inches at the correct distance. Now we're going to center to our IR. Our centering point is one and a half inches above the symphysis pubis. On a previous video, we did talk about how to find that, so I'll cover that real briefly. Our centering point will be two and a half inches below the ASIS, which is one and a half inches above the symphysis pubis. You can palpate the greater trochanter by rotating internally and externally, and that will be at the level of the symphysis pubis, so one and a half inches above that. So we're going to use that as our centering point. We're right on there. There we go. Um, so you can put your marker on the left or right side, either one. It's easier for me on this one to do the right side. Just put it laterally to where your image is going to be and shoot the image. That is the AP. Now for the obliques, there's two ways to do it. We're going to cover the um, the standard obliques first. We're going to get back up to our 40 inches. Make sure and line up your IR first. Now for obliquing, I'm going to grab a sponge here. So we're going to do the left side first. So we're going to roll her towards me 25 to 30 degrees. So place this hand on this shoulder, bend this knee up, now, kind of like you're doing obliques for an L spine, just roll like a log towards me. And I'm going to put this 30 degree sponge behind her back and then roll back. There we go. Okay, our centering point is one inch medial to the elevated ASIS. So I'm going to push on the ASIS. Center one inch medial. And you can collimate down fairly tight, but you do want to make sure because the ASIS is not straight. It kind of goes at an angle. So you want to make sure and have it open enough to get both sides. I always put my marker on the medial side towards the medial side because your SI joint kind of goes this way. That'll keep it out of the way of the image. And expose our image. That is the left SI joint. So have your patient roll towards you like a log again. Roll back flat. Now, if you do that, your patient is still going to be centered to the table really well. So bring this knee up, right hand on the left shoulder and roll away and roll back. There we go. Now, the only adjustment we need to make is recenter for the ASIS. So we're centering one inch medial to the ASIS and then change your marker. Now, some people will put the marker on the patient so you know where you are in the light field. I prefer to use the other marker and place it on the IR and expose the image. That is our right SI joint. You're always going to image the side that is away from the IR doing AP. Now, there is an alternate to this. So you're doing the exact same position, except you angle the CR. 20 to 25 degrees cephalic. You center one inch medial and one and a half inches inferior to the ASIS. Everything else is the same. And that is the SI joint with the alternate view of the cephalic angulation. Made easy with the Penumbra Brothers. <laughs>